Um, I'm a Mercedes guy, so checking out this Mercedes-Benz AMG GT4 literally was a dream come true. A little bit of a tight fit for me, but I want to show the folks at home this. Come here, Danny. T take a look at this. So we can see you down in pit lane right there, but we have an overview of this track. You can just see when the cars come around this corner right here, they will have to make that split second decision whether to go into pit lane or continue down onto for, uh, San Antone all the way down Franklin on that straightaway. And well, Thay's competition says they're ready for it. Thay's competition out of Birmingham has been preparing for 13 months to get their Mercedes-Benz AMG GT4 ready for this weekend. The team has a ton of experience, but this will be their first time racing together. For us, it's it's incredibly exciting and challenging and, and everything else, but we've been able to put together a, a great team. The main driver of the 78 car is Holland, Michigan native Mark Miller, who has raced all over the world, including twice in the prestigious but grueling 24 hours of Le Mans. The backup driver is Michael DeMio from Toronto, Canada. We're excited for our, our chances, but the, the city and, and the people are so supportive that uh, we're, we're just overwhelmed. The Mercedes AMG GT4 is wrapped in a beautiful dark green metallic with gold graphics. The green resembles the classic Mercedes-Benz dark emerald green. This AMG G4 will be cranking out just over 500 horsepower for this race, and it's completely built custom with a roll cage and a custom seat for the drivers. And they estimate top speeds on the Jefferson straightaway topping nearly 150 miles per hour. Brian says Thay's competition and their drivers are ready to rock and roll on this unique street series track. There are more elevation changes than we anticipated. So once we laid eyes on it, there are a couple of really good uphill and downhill sections. And those are in the middle of corners. So no matter whether it's us in Michelin Pilot Challenge or the Indy cars, it's going to be extremely challenging. And you can just see right down this way where it kind of gets really narrow right here onto Franklin Street. And then it kind of opens up and you can see that security vehicle. He's in a far third place down there trying to catch up to the Ford Escape. But the Michelin Pilot Series will be taking place on a Saturday afternoon. Tickets are still available, but a majority of this uh, D Detroit Street Series Grand Prix is free to the public. Reporting in Detroit and Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. I'm going to send it right back to Alicia.